What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. I'm Young. I'm Jarek. I'm Curtis. Okay. You know the vibes. Y'all seen the picture. Y'all seen the thumbnail. Y'all know why y'all here. And team. Dun, Under the skin. Dun, 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 dun. New Ooh. shit. Howling shit. Um, I wanted to rewatch um, like Island, obviously, with y'all so bad. But this shit is kind of cheating already because my bro... I uh, think EJ, Nicholas, and all of them are in this group who were on Island and lost mm-hmm. um, when the Hyphen debuted. And now Hive Japan had them and somebody else that was on um, Island, I know. And then threw them in uh, another a competition show like called like the, the something. Um, it was called something. But, um, the I Howling? I think it's called The Howling. Um, or In Howling. Or, I think it's called In mm-hmm. Something. Because like, all I know is I, I think saw... I think it's called In Audition. I think it's called yeah, In audition. audition. I just randomly saw the fucking... Because um, I'm subscribed to Hype on YouTube. And I saw The oh, Howling, man. John. And I was like, the fuck is The Howling? Like, you know, all this. And I, that's when I hit y'all up. I was like, yo, wait a minute. Because I watched them like, yo, these niggas look different. Like, yeah. you know. Redeemers was telling us about them like a year ago. Cause right. The Redeemers had told us before that Hob was working on their stuff because the, uh, like Hob has a Japan unit. Mm-hmm. And that, you know, they had a new group that was coming out. And we know how much love they missed. Oh, they had women. a video four months ago. Um, that's uh, I think on the show or something. The, and audition, yeah, the final that's countdown. The final countdown okay, wow. And that's not make even sure y'all on the Patreon too because we're doing the dance practice for this today. We might do the choreo version and there's some other stuff with them too that we jumping into. It was this one. It's two minutes, but I guess we'll watch that later. <laughs> <laughs> like I mean, it's up to you. You just say you got MV. Let's go to MV. Yeah. Damn well, no. <laughs> This is what we're watching. Yes. Okay. Howling. Under the skin. This is the song called Under, Under the Skin. skin. Okay. I was confused. This Y'all can tell me if I'm wrong too. I believe this is pre-debut. I don't think they debuted to December seventh. Oh wow. Which when did this video come out? Three days ago. Oh. A couple days ago. They were dropping multiple deep trailers. As shit for no reason. Jesus. Did y'all just lose your alpha leader? Spoiler alert, this feels like uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <dang>. <laughs>
chill, bro. We need you for the debut. Right. We sent a photographer out of the room. Right. He yeah, in his bed. This piano. Mm-hmm. And the moonlight, like, mm. it just matches so well. Oh. Well, now I gotta learn Japanese too. <laughs> I was trying to. That's why I was singing like Rent was due at the end. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he saved him. Nice. Cause I was once one man, and now you're a part of my wolf pack. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's the album. <laughs> hmm. Is that Dark Side of the Moon? <laughs> Like five K dramas in one video, and I love it. That, that, was, that, was, that was beautiful that was, as fuck. No, it exa- exactly that, is beautiful as fuck. Huh? Yeah, I got it. That was the vibe. It, it literally felt like a coming of age, mm-hmm. like kind of like K drama. Right. Um, angsty yet like heartfelt. Yeah. Um, the cinematography, like you said, bro. Like it was times where you kind of just get lost, and the yeah, music was like I, yeah. in the background. Um, it was I'm, the background of a K drama, like the background <laughs> music of a K drama, like um, not we, to be disrespectful. Um, we've had a bunch of different conversations on camera and off camera, just about how people come up like with the group names, the fan bases, what the uh, you know overarching overarching story is going to be like for the group. Mm-hmm. For some reason, I love the wolf approach. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, we, soon as vampire I saw seemed it. like it kept being a thing that was kind of happening. Yeah, once once you get like three three to five groups doing a similar thing, like taking on a vampire concept, or and that's no shade. Like that. and oh, it's no, definitely no shade. They my no fucking shade, boys, but the, uh, like, more, uh, everyone that done the concept has killed it. The some wolf, better than others. Yeah, yeah. You know. the the wolf thing just seems decent, especially like with a new group. Like y'all just y'all a pack. Mm. Like, I don't exactly. know why that feels a bit more like a brotherhood exactly. than anything. Exactly because that's what wolves are. <laughs> wolves are mainly about Vin Diesel. I mean, but family. It, it, it's a perfect. <laughs> oh, Vin Diesel just didn't subscribe I mean, to too. <laughs> He's like y'all had me until then. Look, I love yeah. you, Vin Diesel. You thought we was family. You <laughs> thought we was family. No, it's family no, the, I will say the wolf thing just as a brief kind of addition to that is I love the the duality that you hear within wolf stuff in general because it's it's often like yes they're stronger in packs but you also hear about the lone wolf and everything like that Mm -hmm. um so i think it calls into loss of innocence identity sense of self um primalness nature of course so it's like you have all these conflicting themes but they balance so well with anyone who's kind of trying to find their identity which it feels like represents a a new group so well Mm -hmm. and they just embodied that within this definitely in the cinematography the directing and um, you know everything of the, of those nature as well, um, but I I think it just it was a perfect uh, synergy between the concept and the group for sure. I'll say um, with this of course because they're Japanese, so mm-hmm. now I'm officially Japanese? yeah I'm officially about to start my J list. I already had a K list, but now the oh, J list about to start. I need the Japanese version of this. <laughs> yeah, this is Japanese. Either. This isn't Japanese. Yeah, really? Mm-hmm. Why did I hear? That's what I'm saying. This this about to start my. Uh, my, my J list stuff and everything like that. Even though I technically I already got Japanese, Japanese releases, I'm just gonna move over there. My brain is fuzzy right now. So but um, no, and I'm I'm definitely gonna start. I'm I'm a year into I'm my uh, a Korean version of yeah. South Party as well, and yeah. a couple months probably. 
I'm a year into like my. I was uh, reading too, so I wasn't listening. I'm sorry, Glow. I was reading too, and I wasn't <laughs> listening. I'm very, very. Oh, sorry. you good? Um, mm. I wasn't listening to the actual. Yeah, it was weird. It was a weird moment for me. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. Oh, you good? Um, you know what I was thinking? No, just wow. <laughs> <laughs> This joint is kind of crazy. With so, you going to start a J list? I'm past that part now. Okay, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. Anyway, I thought this was dope. Um, notice, I noticed kind of like the difference now when I think back to all like the Japanese release songs that I've heard. Mm. Um, the Japanese versions are definitely a lot more rock and guitar mm. influenced, and a lot more like aggressive in nature. Whereas mm. Korean music, you kind of have a little bit more sensuality and kind of like. Um, Prettiness put on it. The Japanese is definitely a lot more darker and brooding. And I, I it's look, more look, rock level over there from yeah, West definitely way more. Oh, they're definitely I, way more I, of a I, rock I, country I than anything. And I'm like, yay. I think they really, uh, like I said, this concept, this before I even saw the MV, you know, whatever, like they're reacting to it tonight. The intro videos and the video, we still, you know, like I said, I'll show y'all after we take this off and already do the John. But it was so cinematic and mm. so crazy. Like, I'm, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not one for, like, some coming of age stuff. It really has to jump out to me. But for whatever reason, this just, like, really hit for me with the pack of wolves and how kind of, like, gritty it seems and everything like that. Um, right now, it's a lot of shit going on in, like, the K Reddit and everything people uh, discussing light and dark concepts which I hate because I believe that's too broad of a of a of like terms to kind of put things on I'm like because technically it's so many songs that can fit either or like imagine because everything is not just light yeah like light and dark can mean so dark. much shit technically right. If I give you four BTS songs and you try to categorize them into either light or dark, you'd probably be wrong. It'll be people that'd be like, that's not light, that's, that's dark. One of, that's one of Jeez. the best you know, things great. I love about K-pop, though, yeah. is that just listening to a track, something may sound light and it's airy, mm -hmm. light and as light upbeat and as possible, and then yeah. you read the lyrics. Me, I go, I, go, I, I go more by the, mu by the music and the lyrics than, like, I think a lot of people look at what they look like like, because K-pop is so visual, mm. so they look at what the people look like in the comeback or what the artists look like during the comebacks, and however they dress is what they'll go off of. Yeah, so I, I just think that I hate that. I hope they don't they do not do that with them, even though this definitely seems a lot more angsty, but like you said, we know Japan is a lot more popular over there. So, but this kind of just got me from, like I said, the the buildup and everything, right. those uh, initial videos and all that stuff like that. I can't wait to see what they do with them, but uh, like I said, this is my... A download and actually this is this is not even about to be the first song. I just downloaded I it. Too. I yeah. loved it. Not to mention that um like I've I've noticed Hybe it seems like it's doing a great job at that too, kind of putting out those pre debut songs prior to. Mm -hmm. Um they almost getting you hooked on groups before the group even like debut. Right. <laughs> so it was like you already kinda got three or four bangers in the tuck and then the group will finally debut and then it's like, Oh shit, like I've been listening to y'all for like three months and you're like, <laughs> the day's here. <laughs> Like and shit, I thought they'd like been like debuted. Crack. They was like, nah, that just was that was some they flex shit. It to you like from the crack, like yeah. oh yeah, all the electricity. Yeah, and I'm a uh, glitched. Oh yeah, glitched. I see it. Yeah, and I'm a big sucker uh, for cinematics when like I don't know why I like eyes and hands. Yeah, mm -hmm. same. A lot in film, same. and they did like a whole lot of just I call them raccoon eyes. Right. They did like a whole lot of that, and yeah. I just I don't know. It's it just horrible. draws you in the world, and, and the cuts on your faces. That full moon yeah. shot over the over the pool, he, oh, oh, I, I, and when, like he, when he when he jumped, jumped in, in, and then the underwater shots, like right. oh, that's just ama yeah. amazing cinematography. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a sucker for that kind of Nirvana water shot. Uh. And that's because we grew up watching a lot of good movies, and nothing tops a good you know first two minutes. It just bam pulls you in. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's just like. That was a movie. That wasn't. It was a music video, a movie, a show, all into one. I think you know what I mean. Like it pulled you in visually, emotionally, and you know what I mean through, through the sound. It was spiritually, beautiful. yeah. Um, spatial, huh? Spiritual, spatial, spiritually, spiritually, spatially, <laughs> <laughs> spatially yeah. too. They like, color, like they color palette. Um, they color palette too. I don't know. Maybe it was just me. The it set the aesthetic up where, like, mm -hmm. if it was werewolves in that world, it was believable. Mm -hmm. Wasn't so much yes. like a Twilight pilot, but kind of like no, yeah, Twilight. It was, it was definitely a lo lot more gritty <laughs> and not, 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 not too far, far off. Not too Teen far Wolf. off from Teen Wolf. Mm -hmm. uh, like with the color pilot, especially the blues. Yeah. When you get into like those kind of yes. darker shots, because. 
in the K world, I swear, anytime you see a carnival, you know you about to see neon lights yeah. and mm-hmm. somehow they were at the carnival, but it didn't go in that direction. The I like yeah. I like this a lot, and I'm more interested too to hear like is this is this about to be their sound? Is it gonna be like a little bit more angsty mm-hmm. kind of like? You know, I'm sorry. Go oh no, go ahead. I you know what I thought. hope? I hope that they take this. I hope that they, they make this a freaking show, not a show show, but continue to the story through the same vein. You know what I mean? The same. I'm sure narrative. they will. I'm sure they are. And not I not to the universe is not to compare, right. but uh, like I said, the boys that uh, that are in this group, three of them came from the uh, island show, which know. was in Hyphen. Yeah. Okay. In so. Hyphen, literally another high uh, mm-hmm. subsidiary, kind of has the same kind of ongoing storyline with okay. their stuff as well. Okay. Now tell me if I'm wrong. I believe You're the wrong. two or three, two or three of the balls on here was I thought Kurt. Remember they was like they were in that in hyphen video. Remember the werewolves in the in hyphen video. Um, because that, uh, that would be really interesting. So I'm not sure if their cinematic universe oh, is all crossover. A crossover. Wow. Right. That's that's what people said. As soon as we seen them in there, they was like, "Yo, nah, they werewolves. It's a it's a cinematic universe, oh, and how oh, about oh, to have nice. them?" Nice. So. I think it's already. I that's really interesting. Continue the story. I'm invested. Like I want to so watch it. So is it like a <laughs> war between like werewolves, vampires, and, vampires. and, vampires. and angels? Oh, God. I don't know exactly where that you funny. I don't know exactly where the werewolf lore is going to go into them. I only seen them on the one in hyphen video when they were like kind of following them to the party. So we oh, don't wow. know if they're antagonists, mm-hmm. protagonists, or kind of what it is. Well, everybody's an antagonist in some like story. Exactly. In their story, yeah. In everybody's. Story. Um. But that's decent, man. That's a, that's a decent way also to kind of set up future events if you wanted both groups to do, uh, like, albums together or, mm-hmm. you know, do multiple tracks together. You know, I actually thought, Kay, what you said, though, I actually do. It would be interesting because everyone has, like, different content. And I get it, you know, they're, they're most likely probably going to do, like, some in-the-soup shit or, you know, some mm-hmm. other stuff like that. But imagine if they did, like, some scripted, John. I know. With that, that I think right. that would be, exactly. you don't have to give us more than, like, ten minutes or exactly. something like that. Like but that, keep it to the level, like I said, the computer. So it's hard to show y'all now, but right. that when you see what I was talking about, that initial trailer that got mm. me, I'm like, yo, right. like, if they like, did some of those, like, you know, Every once in a while, or however they do, we call it Spade of Spade. A- right. a- a- the the Asian cinematography for years has been some of like the best, yeah, the best. Mm-hmm. ever. Yeah. Um, well, as far as whether it's wire work, whether it's CGI, <laughs> even yeah, if the even movie if the movie is isn't trash. good, yeah. whether it's the wire it's work, like whether it's like CGI shot. and everything, they always gonna shoot movies and just like K dramas to perfection. Mm-hmm. Um, it reminded so me I, of Bogusal too. I don't know if he saw that. It reminded oh, me said, of Bogusal, yeah. oh, and I was like, oh, kind of hated how it ended because didn't tell a shit. Yeah, no, I hated how it ended too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Okay, thanks. You never explained none of the lore. Yeah. Uh, well, I kind of got it. But, you know, but th- it reminded me of Book of Sal, mm-hmm. honestly. Nah. Um, but, nah, I, I, I wouldn't be opposed to that. I know, like you said, it'd be a lot of stuff going on. They're a fresh group. I'm pretty sure they're doing their rounds mm-hmm. with, uh, you know, variety shows, mm. with radio stuff, with just probably shows in SK to kind of promote for themselves, dance practices, um, uh, just even new stuff because mind you I said they debut was the 7th they might drop another track yeah. on the 7th mm. so um, I know we, it, it'd be a lot to ask for like these groups like yo do a TV show no I'd say yeah <laughs> that just been that idea. like I said I think it would be dope <laughs> no it would definitely help and shit they'd be like we're fucking busy mm, we're tired <laughs> I'm tired <laughs> kids gotta see their families I, I see my, I've been fucking training for 5 years right. I left home when I was 11 <laughs> 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 nah, real shit. In the beginning of an uh, like island, some of the shit. young bulls was training for six or seven years. Some right. of them same young bulls on that show. Mm. And what was an island, y'all? Eighteen or nineteen? Uh, so they've been mm. training still since mm. then to debut now. <laughs> that was four years ago. <laughs> Just been yeah. working my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> I need to eat. Yeah. Uh, we didn't talk, hey, Kurt. You went off yet? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, for one, I love how the, the video started off with the, the cinematic aspect of everything, um, keeping with that storyline. I don't know if that's past, present, future, any kind of those, what any, any kind of one of those. For some reason? It, it, it kind of did feel a little <laughs> bit more would, like, yeah. I, I don't know if it was like the character had like premonitions of these things that are going to happen yeah. or if this is like a trauma that they've somehow experienced that right. they're trying to, you know, I don't, so I'm not sure, but it definitely held my interest and is, makes me really curious to want to see more, but I love mm. how the opening shot you have uh, the two of them kind of looking at each other they exchange a glance but then um 
you get the the, the close up here. shot of um the person who is on the ground looking directly into the camera, but they kind of break the fourth wall by looking right at us. And what it says is, uh, you need to be brave. And it kind of felt like that was them telling like the audience, like you need to be brave mm -hmm. or kind of, it, it made you more emotionally invested because it was something that they were seemingly saying right to the camera to us. Um, so it kind of broke that, that fourth wall. But I, I think that was a great choice as well. Literally yeah. just to start off the video. Um, I love what they had going on vocally and everything. I love more of the rock elements that, the, that they had in everything. Um, I'm very curious to see, you know, kind of as Nick had said, if this is more of their sound or if this is just um, a segment within, mm -hmm. uh, so to speak. Because we, I mean, we know the, the training regimen and how crazy they are. We know that every group yeah, they abuse has crazy choreo, crazy vocals, and has incredible mm -hmm. rap lines generally, mm -hmm. at least for, you know, the general training. So all I have to say, I'm really curious in all the areas they could explore within that. Um, can't overlook it, but the, the cinematography and, and just the way that everything was shot within this, it really did feel, you know, cinematic to begin right. with. No, um, that was one of the most creative moonshots, personally, that I had seen. Mm -hmm. um, I love the, the reflection off the water. Mm. Um, and Even honestly, they just, were inside a building, and that was what I was impressed with, too. They were inside a building. Yeah, and, and it's really hard as far as, like, um, eye line and eyesight and everything in film, as far as, like, if the, the moon's shining down diagonally through a window and it's mm -hmm. over here, it's, it's kind of, it makes those wide shots a little bit tricky because you can fall into continuity issues mm -hmm. where lighting, um, especially, is on one side of your face, but then it's on the other. I mean, that uh, during, mean during reverse shots. purely CGI, I think. It, it's, <laughs> it may have been, but it was I the, think it was purely it, CGI, that's a lot of continuity to kind of keep up with. Yeah. Yeah, um, as well and, I, and to shoot something dark and have it still be like telling visually mm -hmm. uh, that's you know that was a beautiful use of lighting as well but um, that moonshot in particular one of the things I do love about it as well is you kind of had the moments um, where they're basically uh, confronting I, I don't want to say school bullies or anything like that but at least seemingly like the popular mm -hmm. crowd and it was basically like uh, like you got to blend in you can't be original you got to be you know more like us seemingly and I don't know if the, that was to say that they were saying that specifically or if it was like inner thoughts like of those fears that like, yo, like don't do anything to stand out so you don't get bullied or anything. Try to fit in again about, you know, acceptance, loss of innocence, all those things. So um, during the moonshot particularly, um, and I've seen it in several high school things, uh, even like in um, the Scream TV show, for instance, like mm -hmm. they have moments where when a character, like when a character is kind of like, depressed and like gets away from the school setting usually there is like or there has been moments where they would like kind of reflect on themselves in the pool and yeah. it kind of you know the spiritual rebirth water cleansing that yeah. sort of thing yeah. mm -hmm. um so the way they kind of use that with tying that in with the moon aspect uh but it also felt like you know when the other person in the group had walked in um to that pool setting the first instinct of the person who was in the pool was to hide and like kind of cower away seemingly like you're trying to like not be seen in that moment of vulnerability. Mm. But then they kind of had that moment where, you know, he had jumped in and they kind of embraced together. So it kind of felt like two outcasts seemingly in their own rights that kind of, you know, see that within each other seemingly. Mm. Uh, so I, I kind of like what that tells. And as far it, that kind of felt like the lone wolf aspect of everything tying into like more of the, the wolf pack, mm. uh, so to speak. So it's just I really like the way they kind of went through uh, telling that story. And honestly, just the, the lyrics in general were uh, very fitting to that kind of vibe as well. And then when you tie that in with the rock sort oh, of aspects so of everything angsty. as well, it, yeah. it, was so it, 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 <laughs> felt, it felt really kinetic and almost, yeah. I want to say, like empowering in a sense. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I just really like what I'm seeing from the group and from the trailers, the concept, everything. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm so sorry. No, that, that's all. Just disappointed that I didn't realize it was Japanese, but I think I was just so stuck in to just like. You might have been immersed aspect. into the video. I'm like, uh. and I didn't realize. Shut up. <laughs> I just didn't realize. I was like, that's Japanese, and here I am comparing it to Booga Sal. I was like, shit, that's so wrong. But <laughs> like, no, nah, I get I it. I stand by it. Yeah, and uh, like I said, this this should be de this should be different and decent because I know. Um, all the members, I think, uh, one was Chinese from what I've seen, and one was Korean. So I know everyone is in Japanese. So yeah. I wonder what was the the not not so much like the language. Well, yeah, the language barrier. Um, just because we've already seen how Japanese members sometimes it's harder for them to incorporate learning Korean and having to sing and rap in Korean. Oh, so really? I kind of uh, just wonder about that. And shout out to Bang PD, and shout out to like all of the members here that were on island. Um, We've talked about this before. Imagine getting cut from something that you really wanted to be like involved in, 
And most people would just kind of quit after that. Just be like, you know what? Like, I ain't make it. Like, this shit not yeah. for me. It's blah, me blah, and blah. most people. Um, <laughs> to stick it out, go on another survival show and, you know, kind of get through that rigorous, like, <laughs> shit again and then, like, debut. That's, like, just crazy. And for Bang to kind of see them and just kind of just be like, well, you know what? Y'all didn't win, but I still see kind of, like, potential. The potential there is just kind of, like, dope, too, for him just to be like, oh, okay. Let's see if y'all can, you know, we'll put you on right. something else or whatever and see if it clicks. Um, so, like, that's that's really dope. It just kind of kind of makes me bang with y'all a little bit more before even getting into music no or anything else and stuff. Can we run with this wolf egg? Uh, <sighs> yeah, anybody else say anything you want to add about this? I'm interested to see the choreo just because, like, we saw, like, bits and pieces oh, of that when they were in high school. On. Oh, go on. Uh, like, the, the arms, how they kind of had the, because it was the under the skin aspect, so they kind of had, um, you under know, those skin. moments as well. And I like the one moment where I believe they were in, I want to say either the, either the carnival or right after that, maybe the shipyard kind of sequence. Or mm -hmm. it, was, it was one of the two. The cargo but it, bay thing. But it was. Um, that was decent. Yeah. Jumping on top of shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know that's kind of. The shipping cans. Yeah. Like, it was, uh, it was misty. <laughs> they, you had a, a member behind another member and kind of they had their left arm up and the other person had their right arm up and it created this kind of, oh, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. The, it, it, yeah, kinda, it was about, like yeah, this yeah. beast, like kind of claw like mm -hmm. sort of aspect to it. But I, I thought that was really unique because it kind of almost felt like a yin yang sort of thing where it's like, I'm doing like half of this and you're doing half of that. But it just, I don't, I like the, the kind of blending between that. And you um, pointed out something interesting with the choreo, the um, the light choreo. Like yeah, that was decent. The, the light was, was decent. I also like too how this is, this concept may sound good on paper, but it definitely is a lot harder to execute. Obviously, we didn't see them transform or do anything. We kind of just seen small hints. I love that, though. Um, on the, and Hyphen John, their silhouettes were wolves. Okay. So you've seen, like, a little bit more of the lore. I'm probably the only nigga up here that watches the Disney zombie Johns, uh, like Probably. the zombie movies uh, yeah. with, the, with, the, watch, with the John. One. Yeah, I remember on, I think it's part two, they're introduced, werewolves are introduced somehow Wait, with zombies. Wait, zombie or whatever? Not a zombie. That, that was the show that was there. Uh, I don't know. Um, I really don't know. It's a Disney thing. drone or whatever zombies. with zombies. It's, it's called zombies. zombies. Oh, okay. They yeah. literally have yeah. like kind of morphers for them like not to eat people and to be chilling and shit. But part two, they introduced werewolves. When I tell you that like this concept, I'm, I don't want to play Disney to death. You could do some corny shit with werewolves where it's like yeah, two oh, little fangs oh, yeah. and like a, a leopard, uh, the jacket with the fur on the top. Boots with the fur. <laughs> 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 like the <they're> werewolves. <laughs> like the costume designer like ripping up his paper. <laughs> <laughs> the costume boy looking at me and shit like, damn, they on to us. <laughs> he said, throw it all away. <laughs> yeah, he's like, damn, we gonna need that budget. Tell Bang we need 100 mil. <laughs> Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, I didn't get any hints that they were werewolves in the very beginning until he actually mentioned the pack and blah blah. Oh, oh okay. I thought just thought you fucked each other up, like. And that's why I want to know. Uh, I'm interested to see what route they go because when we've seen vampires, it's kind of easy to do like the little teeth, yellow eyes, mm -hmm. blink at the camera one time, and people are like, "All right, right. we get it." With werewolves, are you gonna teen wolf this where it's right. like long sideburns and right. like. Uh, and what is it? The, the face, the yeah. yeah. yeah right. Are y'all gonna do that? Are they you gonna the are you gonna turn them into solid wolves where they're like completely right. just wolves and shit? Right. And it's like maybe they're a different the way color they wolf. showed it in the joint, it looks like wolves. I, when we get the mm -hmm. shit back up, I'll show you. Yeah, no, I, I see it, the, the amount of cinematography they put into everything and like all that stuff like that. It really looks like they're gonna go all out, or they might just do POV shots where it's a little <laughs> cheap. But no like I said, overall, the cinematography. POV shots would piss me off, but it's if it was done right, I I'd be behind it's it. A but good it'd category. Be, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, hashtag Redeemers. Let us know what other tracks y'all want us to jump into. Jump on the Patreon. We about to literally get into the dance practice on there. I think they already got. I think they had a lot of performance already for this too. I could be oh, nice. it's working. Mm -hmm. uh, I got the boys that. in the shop. <laughs> I need to see that. Uh, but we love y'all, man. We gonna holler at y'all.